Yo, I want to share this story with y'all about why I choose myself over a relationship at this moment, all right? This was like kind of the icing on the cake, but uh, before I get to the icing on the cake with the story, I'm going to give you a little backstory as to how and why this situation happened. So, after I finished high school, I uh, I sat out of school for a whole year, right? I sat out of school for a whole year. Long story short, I ended up finding, like, this school to attend uh, through a person who knew a coach who could help me get to this school. All right? So, starting off before I went to school, I had these goals, ambitions, these dreams to pursue a level of life that I thought would benefit me and my family, meaning I thought I would end up going... (laughs) to play Division I basketball and then on to the NBA. Now, based off of the responses I was getting, based off of the the people and the competition that I was beginning to play against, this started to feel like it was going to happen. Now, because I didn't understand my sense of purpose, my sense of direction or whatever I was doing, almost as, it almost was as if I was just going through the motions. Now, sometimes you can reap or benefit from going through the motions. You can get some level of success when just going through the motions. There are people who just go through the motions, and, and sometimes there are rewards that come from that. But when you understand your drive, your passion, your sense of direction, where you want to go with your life, it makes it that much better, okay? So, I ended up going to school, meeting a lot of guys from Detroit, Flint, uh, D.C., Brunswick, Triton, uh, New York, Brooklyn, uh, Miami, Ghana, Sudan, St. Louis, uh, Kansas, uh, shoot, Kansas City, like just a bunch of guys that played on the team with us, right? And sometimes the people around you can influence who you are as a person. Sometimes the people that are around you can influence your decisions, your choices, day in and day out. There would be times I should have went to the gym, but instead I went to go hang out with friends. There would be times I was supposed to go to the gym, but instead I wanted to go hang out with some girls, this and that. And then as the time goes on, there's nothing wrong with having having a relationship. But you have to know when to cut it off with your girlfriend. You have to know when to cut it off with your... uh, Like, okay, for women, you got to know when to cut it off with your boyfriend. Like, you got to know when to create them boundaries. You got to create those boundaries and keep in them to so the relationship can have some type of respect. When you go out and go about your way to go work out, to go uh, train, to go to work, uh, to go do cooking classes, to go sing, go dance, whatever it is that you do, piano lessons, you have to have those boundaries in place so it keeps the relationship healthy. Now, I remember meeting this girl who ended up, who went to, uh, was it, K-State. I met this girl who went to K-State, right? And I just DM'd her one day. Like, I I knew how to talk to women because I didn't get my first cell phone till college. But from, like, sixth grade to about ninth or tenth, I didn't have no skills whatsoever in talking to girls. I had a friend that I'm no longer friends with, he used to always invite girls over to his house to show me how to talk to girls. Um, I would just sit there and listen to him and understand, like, okay, those group of girls that he was around, I was nervous. I was uncomfortable with talking to them. But I knew how to go talk to a different group of girls when I'm by myself and we're with a different set of girls outside of the ones that he 
would always invite over. Then I had another friend who was from New York, grew up in uh, New York, Philly, and North Carolina. He showed me how to talk to a few women. We, he'll always have some situations lined up. We're like, bro, I got this girl, I got this girl. So fast forward, I DM the girl. She, she went to K-State. And, you know, what happened was we ended up having a day to meet up. And my boy, um, he set up a little event. He set up a little day where he could he could go to a, a place near where K-State was. All right. And he had some girls set up where he could meet them. And some of my other friends rode. They went to go hang out with the girls. I stayed at her apartment to kick it with her. Long story short, me and her, we did our thing. And it turned into a relationship. Let me stop right there. When you have not had a certain level of a girl or a certain status of a person rocking with you, being in your corner or being a part of your life, you begin to give that specific person more, we're going to call it clout. You give them a little more than what you would give anybody else. Uh, she smelled good. She looked good. She got a pretty smile the way she talked to you. Um, you know, the sexual part, like it's a whole bunch of determining factors that make people kind of put off what they believe about they self to give in to what this other person thinks. This is guy or girl. I know girls who tell me I went through all of this to give this guy this and it ended up being this way. I got guy friends who tell me, man, I did this with this girl and this didn't work out and this and this and that. Like the stories go back and forth there on both sides. Man. And the sto this whole story is just to tell you about how and why I say us as men, we should focus on building yourself up first, getting your life in order. And sometimes it takes a while. It takes a long time. It takes a long time. Trust me. It takes a long time. But when you get to a certain level and the way you carry yourself, the, the, the ups and downs you went through in life, the way you carry yourself and move, a lot of women notice that. They be like, man, he ain't really like, he ain't like everybody else. He kind of quiet. He uh, mind his own business. He always thinking about this and that. And a lot of times girls can pick up on these things. Girls are good with their senses. They can pick up on... When a guy is different, they can pick up on these things. Now, the thing is, girls will say, cool, hey, he might be faking. He might be playing a role. That is cool. But how long have you known a guy to play a role without, you know, slipping up or telling on himself or this and that? I'm talking to the guys who actually do this and mean what they're doing. Stay focused. Stay building on yourself. And trust me, the right girl will come along, but... You're going to have all these different groups of girls that start taking. It's not an attraction like they want to do something to you. It's just the way they carry themselves. Like they want to be around you. They sit and talk with you. They have conversations with you. Like all type of cool things. Yo, the restaurant I used to work at, every girl in the restaurant, I would, uh, I would have considered them to be like a person that I could have a conversation with, a friend. Um all type of thing. I don't even really know how to explain it, but the thing was because now I was hanging out with these girls outside of work. What happens is this starts bringing in other girls or the other girls at the job started seeing this too. So you have a lot of girls wanting to, wanting to be a part of this thing that looks like it, it could be fun to hang around you. Oh, you're a nice person to talk to. He actually listens to what I'm saying when I'm speaking. Um, being intuitive is, is, is very important. All right. I got off track a little bit, but yeah, man, I met this girl. I met this girl. at uh, I met this girl at K-State. We did our thing. And for some guys, a girl can put that on you and then you be in a relationship. A girl can put that on you. Then you fall in love with her. All this type of, you know, it is what it is. That happens. It's cool. It happens. It happens. It's just what happens after that is what be having people trip. I'm talking about, look. I was so caught up with this girl. I was so caught up with this girl. I stopped building my life. When your second head leads the relationship or leads the way you want stuff to go, 
you're at will with whatever she says. You're at will with whatever she wants to do. And the thing is, she's already replaced you, to be honest. Like, trust me, a lot. There are a few girls out here who like to get it every single night, every single morning, day, whatever, cool. But the girls see that early, like, yo, this is all this dude has to offer. He just want to. You know, he just want to do this with me. I'm getting tired of that. Like, they get that, that wears off quick. That wears off quick. This is like, you know, so. Man, what was happening, man? Like, I started, like, tripping. I was going through this girl's phone. I was, I was always, we was always getting into arguments. And it'd go back and forth. Sometimes she get mad at me for girls being around. I wasn't keeping it play. I wasn't being smooth about the way I was, you know what I'm saying? I was just always tripping on her. So it'd be like. One, when you start tripping on a girl like that, you already kind of lost. When you start tripping like that, you kind of already lost. And this is the things I learned later when talking to more women. This is what I learned later when talking to more girls, when hanging around more women. Women will start teaching you the tendencies. They'll start showing you how they act. Like, yes and no, when you hang around enough women... A lot of them carry themselves the same way or certain things about them where you can be like, oh, okay, oh, all right, oh, that's cool, that's real nice. You start seeing the good things in uh, women the more and more you hang around them. It's just what happens in this world is what makes us all change. We'll be like, ah, oh, this kept happening to me, so I had to change it a little bit. I don't know about other guys, but I'm going to tell you all from my point of view, the way things have happened in the past with girls and you go through ups and downs in life it made me change my perspective on how I I'm getting kind of cut Look at that. Hey. it made me change my perspective on how I view women you know what I'm saying and there was a point where I was in the money bag yo the future phase where all we gonna do is dog these girls out kick them to the curb blah 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 but in the business world that ain't gonna get you nowhere in the business world you left with the short end of the stick uh and it's it, man look I just know that trying to do it that way it, it's gonna leave you short handed like actually be the friend actually be the person that girls like talking to trust me there have there are girls to this day that when i was uh working with them and stuff because of my or because of my vibe me actually caring about what they saying listening to them talking to them actually being personable with them being intuitive yo girls used to send me things girls used to buy me gifts girls used to take me on trips with them girls used to like I can't even explain all the stuff girls would do for me. And a lot of times I'd be questioning, like, why are you doing this? Why are you so nice to me? The way the world is now, people treat good people the way they're supposed to be treated. Like, people recognize that and be like, yo, I don't went through all this BS, all this nonsense trying to find the right group of friends, the right girlfriend, the right boyfriend, whatever it is that you was looking for, the right coworkers, the right business, like, when you finally find it, you just like, I don't want to lose this. <laughs> like, I really don't want to lose this. And sometimes you can get lost in it yourself. You would do so much for a person that you lose who you are as a person. You stop building yourself. That's what I was doing with this girl. Like, I was getting refund checks in school and was breaking her off something crazy. Everybody know what the refund checks be looking like. Y'all know the numbers. I'm giving her the majority percentage of that. Buying all these gifts and clothes and this and this and that. It was just, well, as my father liked to call it, he'd be like, boy, your nose was wide open. <laughs> he'd be like, boy, your nose was wide open. He's like, you got your nose wide open. <laughs> so that's what, it was, that's what was happening. And then it got to the point where it was like, you could be so obsessed with somebody, and that's how I was with me. I was so obsessed. Like, man, I tell you, it was points in my uh, career when I was playing college ball. I was not going to work out. I was, like, getting phone calls from one of my teammates, my boy from D.C. He'd be like, bro, he'd be like, where you at, Mo? Where you at? 
We're supposed to be uh, headed to the gym. It's, it's 5.30. We're supposed to be there at 6.30. Where you at? Man, I tell him I'm coming and then go right back to sleep. Or when I'm about to get up and I got my bag and stuff ready, getting ready to walk out the door, my girlfriend uh do something to make me want to stay in. Like, you know what I'm saying? Want to stay laying down. She'll, you sure you about to go to bed? She'll put the cute little soft voice on. I'll just be like, man, I'm going to go ahead and just stay and lay in bed with her again. And now you're up all morning when you're supposed to have been at the gym. You're supposed to have been at your office. You're supposed to have been working on your YouTube channel. You're supposed to be uh, working on your craft. And the same thing goes with girls, too. I used to be around girls that uh, would want to hang with me. I get it. They'll cancel plans with their friends. Let me tell you something. Girls will cancel them plans on their friends. Hey, uh, yeah, uh, my baby, uh, she's not feeling well. My baby, he not feeling well. Or, you know what I'm saying, they'll use their kid to get up out of something because they really want to kick it with the guy that they, uh, around. Or, oh, uh, they'll call out of work. And it was just a lot of things I was seeing. And I'm like, yo, you still got to be you. You still got to hang out with your friends and stuff without sacrificing your personal time for me. Like, I get it. And I was more open to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, no. matter of fact, I'm going to come in. I'm going to sit with you for, like, 30 minutes to an hour. And then I'm going to go ahead and dip. Let y'all girls do what y'all do. But I'm going to keep going. Show her, like, I'm going to give you a little time. But don't cut off the whole other part of your life just to be around that girl or that guy. You see what I'm saying? So, fast forward, we ended up, like, Getting into this big, when I'm talking about big, 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 big argument, I'm talking about she was throwing rocks at me, throwing beer bottles at me. Her, her aunt pulled a knife out on me. I'm just like, I got like a calm personality. So a lot of stuff that, that, that happened to me growing up, I just be like, it just kind of, I don't know how to explain it. Like I can give you so many different encounters where I'm just like, I'm like, What? And I really be lost because I be thinking I had the best intentions on a lot of this stuff happening. So I'll tell you this one story. This dude pressed me about his girl and I was so thrown off. I'm just like, whoa, bro. Like, bro, walked up on me. Hey, he's like, hey, cuz you trying to fight? No, 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 this my little shorty. I was like, bro, I didn't even know that was your girl, bro. But here, you, you can take her here, here. And the crazy thing is she didn't even want to go with him. She still wanted to stay outside with me. I'm just like, man, I'm about to get up out of here because uh, I done seen this type of situation before. And it don't end well when a dude is insecure. Man, let me go ahead and get back to the story real quick. Man, me and Charlie got into that big argument, right? Super big argument. Next thing you know, her aunt. And this is another thing that we got to be aware of. If you're trying to get in a relationship with a, a girl, gentleman, or women, if you're trying to get in a relationship with a guy... Be, be around and listen to who influences his choices or decisions because when things ain't working out we all got somebody that we can call or talk to and be like yo what should I do with this situation and if that person ain't really you know saying in the right direction or this and that it'll mess up what you think and what you feel about yourself her aunt talked her into kicking me out the house remind you I moved back to North Carolina I was in Kansas with this girl I moved back to North Carolina. I had came back on a spring break. I moved to North Carolina and I was a school teacher. I, I came back on a spring break and was just talking to her. And uh, I was there for like a week and a half just visiting her. And then saved up some money from work. I went down there with like four, five thousand dollars, blowing it on her. Not smart, not smart, Kev. Blowing the money on her. Long story short, her aunt. After the big argument, she was like, she think it's best if you if you just leave. I was like, where I'm going to go? I, I ain't got no car. I don't this, that, blah, blah, blah. Her aunt told me, I know a place that we can take you. Her aunt's boyfriend took me to this place. Man, it was a, it was a, it was a, uh, what is it? A uh, trailer park. It took me into a trailer park. I'm in a trailer park. <laughs> and I'm in this, I'm in this house. I don't know who house this is. It's rats and roaches all in the house. I'm, I sat my bag down the thing. All I heard was, Eek. Like, oh, bro, what was that? What was that? Man, rats in there. I almost went to sleep levitating in midair. Like, that's how crazy it was in the house. I was not trying to touch anything. I couldn't even go to sleep. I'm in the house this whole time. Like, 
dang, Kat, you done tricked off your whole bag on this girl, and now you ain't got nowhere to stay. If I had some money, I would just, hey, bro, swear me to a hotel. No problem. I'm going to get up out of here. So we went through all of this type of stuff. The next morning, what you think my, my dumb ass did? Went back to her. No, it was me. It was my fault. I, I, I was wrong. Man, look. Her uh, aunt's boyfriend took me to uh, the store or something like that. I don't know what happened. He told me, he was like, look. He's like, little bro, he's like, based on how you carry yourself, he was like, little bro, based on how you carry yourself, you headed in the right direction with your life, man. He was like, I just got done doing 10 years in prison. He's like, I'm going to tell you something. It ain't too many options for a guy like me based on me getting out of prison, this and that. He's like, this is the girl I chose because a lot of men, we, he's like, we become like, He's like, we'd be wanting the touch or the warmth or the, to hear a voice of a woman while we in prison. He was like, he's like, a lot of us take the first girl or take the girl who does choose us. He was like, not nah, a man. He's like, now nah, I'm out of prison. She got a dude that she's hooked on, but he's in jail. And I got to deal with that situation when he eventually gets out because she still visits him, texts him, call him, this and that, blah, blah, blah. He's like, you don't want your life to be like mine. He's like, bro, go ahead and get up out of here. Now, I remind you. I told you before, I was going, I was supposed to be going to work out, this and this and that. I lost Division One scholarships behind this girl. Like, I wasn't focused on my purpose, on my journey, on why I went out to Kansas. I wasn't focused. And I ended up forgetting why I came out there. You as a person, don't forget why you're doing something. Don't forget, like, yo, I'm building this up to become this. I'm building this up to become this. Because when you start getting somewhere... People will start finding themselves around you and latching on. And it ain't always bad. Guys, as you build your life up, the right woman can come along and the right woman can mess stuff up. Like, you can be so, like, you building this up to this level you want to get it to. And then the girl will come along and it's like, oh, I'm going to put this to the side because now I can see myself starting a family with her. Yo, it was dudes in college that would tell me, I don't even want to play basketball no more. I can see myself starting a family with this girl. I'm like, bro, you nice. I'm like, bro, you like one step away from going overseas. You one step away from uh the, the G League call or the NBA call, Summer League. Like, but I get it. it. Everything changes. But let me tell you, sometimes in life, now that I have to do this and that, basketball came natural to me. It was fun. It was it was easy. I enjoyed it. So it was like, it didn't feel like I was getting up to work out, do a job, this and this and that things that came with that life was fun continue to build yourself the way you're supposed to build yourself build yourself up the way you're supposed to build yourself up i, I kind of rushed through that story but that end result of not having nothing being in that trailer park home with the rats and the roaches the house had dogs and cats and it stank it was like all type of stuff i'm just like i don't even want to take this bag like back on the airplane and stuff but it was like you done did all this for this girl and it left you with the short end of the stick you done spent all this money on this girl that done left you in a spot where you don't got nothing but it came from her taking advice from her aunt who has been hurt who has been she was basically trying to protect her I get it I understand but hey it's, it's, you gotta stay focused on yourself it starts off good with a lot of people. And then through them ups and downs, you about to see all different sides of a person you with. So you you got to know who you are. Uh, you got to know who you dealing with. You got to know who you messing with. Because sometimes you can go so far down a hole with this uh, guy or this girl that you messing with. And sometimes it can be not too late, but it can like alter your life.